So I'm here watching over Daddy, and I've been reading this book that was his. It's called Standing for Something, and it's written by Gordon B. Hinckley. And I wanted to show you some of the m markings. My dad actually writes on the books, and I like to do the same thing where I highlight. But I wanted to show you some of the ones that he um, wrote on. Hold on, I already had him saved. They're towards the end here. A lot of people don't like writing in their books, but I like writing in my book. Hold on, here it is. Right here. There's a marking that he wrote. It says, A wise leader starves the problems and feeds the opportunities. And then there's this one that says, Deal with the problems as wisely as you, as you can. Make your decisions. You may be right, you may be wrong. Hopefully you will be right because you have prayed earnestly over the matter and you have discussed it with your associates. But once these decisions are made, put them behind you and do not worry about them. So that's one thing he highlighted there. He wrote on. And then there's this one. It says, We are part of a family of God with a tremendous potential for excellence. The distance between mediocrity mediocrity and excellence can be ever so small a little extra effort can result in a tremendous difference and then there's these my dad used to do these all the time I would always see him use one of his pens silver pens he used to put two of them on his shirt and he would always carry those pens everywhere so he would always mark the books with it says a verse in a, in a reminds us that the race is not too swift nor the battle to the strong. Life's winners are generally those who endure to the end. When the Apostle Paul was a prisoner of Nero in Rome, he wrote, God hath not given us the spirit of fear, but the power and love and of, sound, of a sound mind. Without question, we find our greatest example to follow in the Son of God. And there's these. During his brief ministry, he brought more truth, more hope, more mercy, more love than anyone else who ever walked the earth. He died on Calvary's cross for each of us. None of us will become perfect in a day or a month or a year. We will not accomplish it in a lifetime. It may be fraught with many mistakes, with falling down and getting back up again, and it will take much effort, but we must not sell ourselves short. We must make a little extra effort. We would be wise to kneel before our God in supplication. He will help us. He will bless us. He will comfort and sustain us. He will help us to do more and be more than we can ever accomplish or become on our own. No nation can rise above the strength of its homes or the virtue of its people. So this is a really good book guys. If you guys haven't checked it out, you should. It's really, really taught me a lot. I've been reading this one and another one that I got from him which is called Hearing the Voice of the Lord. I really love that one um, but this one I'm like halfway through I was reading this one a while back I t t put some pictures up so you guys could look at it this one right here says the twin virtues of forgiveness and mercy so that one I highlighted and I wrote on and yeah I really like this book a lot plus it's, it was written by Gordon B. Hinckley so this one is with all by getting under get understanding and then this is the only time I actually get to read and I love to read the only time I get to read is with my dad 
I try not to make noise when he's here, so I try to just read. Our fading civility, and then making a case for morality. I like reading a lot of self-help books and books like this. Where there is honesty, other virtues will follow. You see there's some markings there from my dad, and then I highlighted some too. See, you can see he wrote on some with the blue pen and I highlighted. So we thought alike. <laughs> and then, that's the introduction. As you can see, I love looking at his markings. Anyway, the one I wanted to read right now was this one, Faith, Our Only Hope, and then there's another one it's called Gratitude. Hold on. I'm gonna, probably going to skip this one. I like this one too, but I'm going to skip it probably for now, and I'm going to read this one, which is Gratitude, A Sign of Maturity. So that one and the one of Faith and Hope, I'm going to read those two probably before I leave. They're not that big. They're not that long. It's like maybe four or five pages, so I should be able to finish them. But anyway, I wanted to share that with you. This is one of my daddy's books. Good reading. Good reading time. Okay, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll post some pictures if you guys want to check them out. I'll put them, put them on my timeline. So you guys can read them if you want. Thanks for watching. Bye, guys.